So we've created a new Spring Boot application using Spring Tool Suite. And in this video, I'm going to show you another way how to quickly create Spring Boot application and add dependencies to it so that it can support RESTful web services. And I'll go back to my browser window. And to do that, I will go to a different address. It starts with start.spring.io and hit enter. And here we have Spring Initializer. And it is a very quick way to create a new Spring Boot application. So basically, uh, we will need to select a few options here, generate a new project with Maven or Gradle. I'm going to use Maven just like I did with Spring Tool Suite. I'm going to use Java and the version of Spring Boot that I'm going to use is going to be 2.0. Okay, and here already familiar to us options like group is your package name. So here I'll provide com apps developer block and then app WS and the artifact, which is a name of your project. So in my Spring uh, tool suite, I called it mobile and then app dash ws for web services and here we will need to add a dependency and we have already a quick suggestions like if we add web this will be enough to support restful web services if we need to add security we will add security or if we need to use java persistence api and then persist our java objects with Hibernate into MySQL database, for example, we will use uh, GPA and so on. So I will type web and we have a hint here again. So it's a full stack web development with Tomcat and Spring and VC. That is enough for this step. You can uh, open up the switch to full version panel and that will open many other options for you here so you can see all the dependencies that you can add uh, you can simply click on them to add to your POM XML. so i have selected a few i will uncheck i don't need them at this moment so all i need is web and let me change the name choose the name as mobile app ws description and then this will be my package name so i will I like my package name to be same as group and then packaging will be jar. I will be able then also use Java jar to start up my Spring Boot application and it will start Tomcat and it will deploy application into Tomcat and I will be able to use it and send HTTP requests to it and Java versions. Okay, so now all I need to do is to click on generate project button and that will download the zip file which I can unzip and then open that project with any development environment I like. So I'll bring up my finder window and then I will go to downloads. This is the folder that it has downloaded. I will drag and drop it to my desktop and I will click and rename it to... Okay, now I can go and let's uh, use NetBeans this time. I will open NetBeans and I will open my project with NetBeans. I'll go to file, open project, and then on my desktop, I have renamed the downloaded demo folder and I will open it here. And here we go. This is my project I have created with Spring Initializer. I should have my package, com apps developer block, and then the Spring Boot application. And if I go to POM XML file, this is under project files and then POM XML file, I should have the dependencies, the Spring Boot starter web dependency and the starter test dependency for writing tests and testing our RESTful web service. And this project we have created with Spring Initializer will be just the same project that we have created using Spring Tool Suite. So you can use any of those. And if Spring Tool Suite is not available, you can use Spring Initializer this page to quickly create a Spring Boot application and then open your favorite development environment like NetBeans or IntelliJ and then continue working with this project.